times I try to book a table at the restaurant. Okay, uh, it's a table for a party of five. Oh, no, no. What's the name of the reservation? Yeah, it's Picasso. Florian Picasso, adopted great-grandson of one of the world's most celebrated artists and now underground producer turned EDM superstar. We caught up with him ahead of his set at Ultra Bali to find out what it's like living with a famous surname and how much he really knows about BDSM. For anyone that doesn't know, Florian's uh, great-grandfather was in fact Pablo Picasso. We're in the presence of some serious art heritage. I get, I get a lot of shit from that. Yeah, they, I got tweets like, yeah, you're spoiling the name, how dare you, it's like calling yourself Mozart. And many times I show up and they're like, yeah, so Picasso is not a station. I'm like, no, and I explain the story. And they're like, hmm, interesting, but I didn't know Picasso was Asian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got a real connection with this part of the world. Obviously, you were born in Vietnam. You're blowing up all over the world, but over there, you're like huge. You have to see it in a way that uh, they don't have anybody to look up to. They don't have uh, international DJs. My first ever show there, I had like 50 people waiting for me at the airport with signs, welcome home. I came back to uh, the place I was adopted from. It was a kick in my face, you know, like, uh, man, you're doing what you love. These kids, you know, like, they're not so lucky as you, so you really have to uh, be an example for them. And so when I'm there, I'm more than 100% because they're my people. I could have either been dead or working in a field rice or something like that. And I got adopted and everything was perfect, you know, so I'm blessed. I really love the energy of the EDM scene. I think Joe and Marshmallow, they're my top two guys. And Marshmallow is it, really hyped. I love what he's doing. He's making a statement. It's not about just the mask, it's about the community coming together, it's about the movement. And that's what kids like. They don't want the DJs who are like, yeah, I'm here to just play my records, and that's it, I bounce. No, they want to relate to something, you know? Very big moment now. Marshmallow doesn't normally do interviews. So, Marshmallow. No, not you, you've got silly hair. So, Marshmallow. What's the inspiration behind your biggest record? Touch your face! What's up? <laughs> You're Marshmallow's sister? Yeah, yeah, sister. I'm Marshmallow's sister. You sound a bit like a guy. So, Marshmallow, do you speak English? Oh, I... We've had a world exclusive there. Turns out Marshmallow doesn't speak English. I am Marshmallow! And Marshmallow's sister is a guy. I've been nominated as the best newcomer of the friend's biggest radio. I put this picture on my Facebook. I got like maybe 50 likes, 10 people commented. And back in the days when I was just a kid looking for myself, looking for who I was, I would put up like pictures of me spending money and buying bottles in clubs. And people, they were like, oh my God, it's amazing. You're such a baller and stuff. Well, now I make something out of my life and I'm productive. Nobody's here except my best friends, you know? Right, Florian, we're going to play a very quick game. So you have to tell me whether what I'm reading out is the name of an EDM DJ or the name of a filthy s &M activity. Okay. okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, first things first, Pony Boy. DJ. What do you think Pony Boy plays? I think he plays some hard techno. Well, he doesn't. I mean, there is some hard stuff involved, but he's not a DJ. Pony Boy is actually when you dress somebody up in a pony outfit put a horse's bit in their mouth and a butt plug with a tail up their ass. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> I'm saying I'm going to make like a techno alias, Pony Boy. Pony Boy, yeah, that, oh shit, that could be you. Look, look, look for Pony Boy next year on the resistance stage. <laughs> yeah. Sticking with the animal theme, massive rape horse. Oh my God, no, this can be a DJ name. No, 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 that's, that's, that, that's some dirty stuff. Unfortunately for everyone, it is in fact a DJ name. Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel and everything. Massive Rape Horse. What kind of music? I don't know. I dubstep maybe. Yeah, you'd think so. Or some just okay. something fucking nasty. Hog tie. No, that's S S N M. You're absolutely right. It's very kinky. A hog tie is when you tie somebody up with their hands and feet like a hog roast. Last one, OTK. It's strange because you know like in the porn industry they have all these weird uh, acronyms, yeah. C I M. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know this term. Oh I do, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I do. Yeah, you yeah. do. So I think it's S and M. You're absolutely right. It stands for over, over the knee spanking. Ah, but that's light. That's a light one. It's quite light. Yeah. It is quite light. But it's a nice light one to end on. You only got one right though, unfortunately. Yeah. So 
Jaws, who I know you look up to as an artist, he's also much more knowledgeable about SM than you are. I think so too. I'm gonna have a chat about him right now. Yeah, but be careful, man, because he might drug you and put you in a hog tie.